know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Verse number 11. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. Say, shield me, Lord. Now, when you read scriptures like this, don't read the rest of it, look here. When you read scriptures like this, you must learn to extract the juices out of the scriptures. So when the Bible says the Lord is, is, is a sun huh, and shield, it means that he lights my way. Can you say the Lord lights my way? Say he is my he is my son. All right, and then he says he is my shield. All right, so so you you pray and you say Lord shield me. Say Lord shield me. So so the Lord can be your son and your shield, but if you don't ask him to shield you, you will assume that you have got everything sorted. That's why he says in Psalm sixty-eight verse one, "Let God arise." Let, let. That word let means allow. Huh? This way, right? So he says let him. So if you don't let him, he will not arise. God does not just go about arising. You have to let him. That's why he says in Psalm 91, I will say of the Lord, he is my shield. So you have to say it. This way, right? Can somebody say, I have to say it. Remember the scripture I shared with you yesterday. A, a tongue that no enemy can resist. Your declarations have got more power from today going forward in the name of Jesus. The realm of the spirit cannot, 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 cannot stop what you are saying from coming to pass. Whatever you say from this day must come to pass. One way to make your words come to pass, remember I taught you, is to meet your pledges. One way to make your word come to pass is for you to let your yes be yes and your no be no. Fight to pay your debts. Fight to pay your debts. So, so, so what does I say? You must say it. When you say it, you, you activate it in the spirit. When you say something, you activate it. There are people who are not married because someone has not said it. They've been dating for the last five years. No one has said it. You don't just find yourself at the altar. Someone has to say it. Even your current wife, you would say, Yo, she would say, you're crazy. But you know why it happened? You know why it happened? You kept saying it. There's a lesson there. You kept saying it. You kept speaking it. You kept declaring it. You kept decreeing it. Before I even had a car, I would say, I want the pens. I would say it every day. I want a Mercedes Benz. And my first car, ah, I started well. I didn't start with all oh, this, that son, 120, why nonsense. I started with the Mercedes Benz, hallelujah. God knew what he was doing, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So, somebody, you have to say it. Say, I have to say it. Say it until you see it. Speak it until it manifests. Because your words, remember, can no longer be resisted in the realm of the spirit. I, I, I see you driving a powerful car. I, are you understanding me? I said, I see you driving a very powerful car. Because you must know, people are attracted to success. When people see, see somebody who's struggling, they move away. The Bible says a rich man has many friends. Genuine or not genuine, they're still friends. Are you understanding me? May people desire to be close to you. Are you understanding I said, may people desire to be close to you. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. That glory of the Lord must be visible upon your life. As I'm speaking here, glory is coming upon your life. I said, as I'm speaking here, the glory of the Lord is coming upon your life. There is a glory that belongs to God. Yes, but there's a glory that God wants on us. I need to help you with this because this will transform your life. He says, he says, the Lord is, is my son and shield. Did you understand that part? All right, carry on. For the Lord will give grace and... Doesn't mean he'll give you a wife called Grace, eh? Okay? He will give you grace, courage, hmm? favor. Say, Lord, give me favor. These are powerful scriptures, eh? 
But the reason why these scriptures don't come to pass is because we don't say them. We must say them. Say, Lord, give me grace. Have you ever heard Kuti Bengri Do you know the Bengri Nopa Mari? Huh? Raka Mbu Pamari Rewe. I'm not Kumbira. The bank does not just go around giving money to everyone. You have to apply for it. Hello? You, you, can, you can see the registered uh, financial institution. Part of the constitution is lending. Huh? So, so when you get in there by inquiries, not Munopamare, not A. In the same way, the Lord gives grace. But you know, going to say, until you open your mouth and say, Father, I want you to give me grace. Do you know this thing of, of us being free will agents that were given by God in Genesis 1? He says, He gave us the dominion. Many people don't understand that aspect. And the Christianity is warped. They are saying God is going to do it. But God gave you the authority. And God only comes back to do things based on our invite. So you look at your life and you say, I don't have grace. I am Lord, you said in Psalm 84, you give grace. I believe you give grace. Like, I believe the bank lends money. So I'm putting in my application for grace. Lord, give me grace. Oh, good teaching. Hallelujah. Say, I want you to give me grace. You can even talk to the Lord about divine prosperity. Hmm? It's not enough to give without confessing prosperity. Oh, if you hear nothing else, the whole service that was worth you waking up. It's not enough to just give to the house of God and not confess or profess prosperity. You have to speak it because your words are creative. So all these laws of God, they work together for your good. But you have to work them. Are you understanding? Say, I know the Lord gives grace and glory. But if I don't ask him, he won't give me. People who were blind did not just, you know, start seeing because Jesus was there. There were blind people standing next to Jesus that were that that died blind. And Jesus never made assumptions. I think one of the most profound scriptures is when Jesus asked a blind man, "What do you want?" If Jesus would have just healed a blind person, you you could have said, "Why are you healing me?" I'm making money from blindness. Yes, because some people make money from blindness. And then the moment that is no longer blind, he has to look for a job. So that man can be angry. Hey. Jesus is assuming what you want, what, what is happening in your life that you are not talking to him about. He's assuming you want it. Yes. So you must ask him for grace. Say, I want grace. Say it again. Say, I want grace. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. So God gives grace, but only to those who ask. May you ask him. I said from today, may you never stop asking him. I said, may you never stop asking him. Read for me, men of God. The Lord will give grace and glory. Grace and? So glory is different from grace. Grace is divine ability. Huh? So what is Glory. What is glory? Write this down. Glory is honor. Honor. When people look at you, they want to honor you. That's a part of God on you. Grace, is, um, glory is God putting some of himself on you. Say the glory of God. Say the glory of God. It's glory is an an impressive thing. You you just look impressive. Have you seen people? They can be wearing the same uniform, but one of them just looks impressive. Why? There's glory on them. They, they make you want to wear a uniform. What is the difference? Glory. Hmm? Is somebody hearing this? Everyone wears jeans, but there's a way that a jean looks when someone wears it. Glory will make them to highly esteem you. People will look at you and just highly esteem 
Bible tells us that glory is what makes people say there's something about you. What is glory? Great beauty. The original Hebrew word is kabod. Kabod. What does kabod mean? It means heavy weightiness of God. Heavy weightiness of God. Glory is majestic. You just look majestic. There are people who wear wedding gowns and you just say, hey, when is this wedding going to end? But there are some when they wear it, they just look majestic. Glory is brilliance. Are you hearing these things? Outstanding. Magnificent. Praiseworthy. Okay. Now, that is according to here on earth. That is glory. Let me give you glory according to heaven. According to heaven, glory is abundance. Abundance. Because if he says, show me your glory, it means I can see it. Abundance. Wealth. Hans, even Solomon in all his glory. Hmm? Did Solomon have wealth or not? Somebody say, I want the glory. That was upon Solomon. So glory is not one cloud somewhere. No. <laughs> Substance. You can see it. It is brightness. Brightness. There are people who are dark in complexion, but they are bright. Hmm? Then there are people like me, okay, I'll say like me, who are dark and they are dark. Ah, because people who just leave the church for a funny reason. <laughs> or oh, TJ is not here. TJ is dark and dark. And you must, you must tell him that the apostle says you are dark and dark. When I see TJ, I feel yellow bone. <laughs> you can tell him when you see him. I'm his pastor now. There's nothing he can do. Could that I would say, Kwasha. I said, sorry, Tessa. Now there's no sorry. I'm the apostle. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, I want glory. Say it again. Say, I want glory. Glory is your star shining. Everyone has a star. By the way, your star. The wise men, they looked for Jesus. What? This is why people in the world, they go and consult about their So, your star can be manipulated. It's just you Christians who don't know about your star. Jeremiah Apostle Chantar Mapostanga. Have you not heard it? When you went, did they not tell you about your nyanyans? So, my people perish for what? Lack of knowledge. Can I teach you a little bit this morning? Alright? Are you understanding what we're talking about? Alright? So, the shining of your star is the glory of the Lord upon you. So, there, there are times when you can be in a church and no one sees you. It means your star is not shining. You know you can be light in complexion and no one sees you. But anyway, why are you church a little? We know that someone has played with your star. You can be wearing white and no one sees you. But even if, you're, if, if your star is shining, you can be wearing black. And people will still see you. What causes a woman to reach 40 to 45 and no one is saying anything is stolen glory. Full stop. Stolen glory. What causes you to have a business and people cannot see that business is stolen glory glory. So, this subject of glory, I'm continuing it tomorrow. You will see the demons going mad about it tomorrow. I'm just sharing with you today because I want you to understand that your lost glory
glory must be recovered. Oh, you're not in agreement. I said your lost glory must be recovered in the name of Jesus. Matthew 5. The glory of the Lord must come upon your business in the name of Jesus. I said the glory of the Lord must come upon you in the name of Jesus. When your bosses see you, they must just want to do good for you. Are you understanding? Why? Because God will cause your face to shine in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good work and glorify your Father in heaven. Let your... So what? That's the glory of the Lord on you. So if you didn't believe you had, you had a star, I, did you see it there? Huh? You have a light, it must shine. So it means that people in the negative now, they want to play with your light. They want to play with your star so it does not shine. That's why Isaiah talked about remove the veil of my beauty. Because, uh, listen to me, that light bulb there, we can take a black cloth and cover it. Huh? It means the brightness is no longer seen. So, in other words, in the negative, in the satanic realm, they can manipulate your star and cover it so that no one can see it. Even your natural beauty, it can be covered. Until no one can see that you are actually beautiful. A veil can be covered over the glory of your business idea. I'm talking to many people here. And no one sees it as a good idea. But you, you know, on paper, your idea is powerful. Can I tell you the problem with you? The glory has been covered in your business. You, this is your message. This one here. Yes. Because if you look at the quality of what she does, she should not be there. I know people who are not looking nonsense, who are driving nice cars. It means that there's something wrong with this girl. Spiritually, are you understanding me? People should be queuing for the quality that she does. They should be queuing. So if you are in that position, you know that you can look at your product and say, ha, ah, this thing is good. What's the problem? Glory. I, I, this, this message must help somebody. I said, this message must help somebody. Answer, she, read that verse again. Let your, let, let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good works and glorify So if God. your light is not shining, they cannot see your good works. You've read that scripture so many times over the years. <laughs> But you did not see that there's a correlation between glory and good works. Do you know how many, how many of your certificates the glory is covered? Once your beauty that God intended is seen. There's no telling how far you will go. I said once the Lord shows you your true glory. There is no telling how far you go. That's the problem of this business. The glory has been covered by the enemy. I'm not just speaking theory. Glory no fun be way. One of my mentors in the gospel, he was preaching, and, and you know what he said? He said, there's a man who was, who was saved a while ago. This man was now born again. This way. He was excited about God, but he was deep, deep in the occult. I just am showing you know, and all that, all those things. And 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 so this man, Anzi, Anzi, when he comes to church, he would be excited, he would be jumping, he would be, you know, you know what I'm talking. There are people like that in church, huh? really excited about the things of God. That was him, Anzi. But one day he came to church. He was just sitting on his chair. He was like this, and so I asked him at this past and said, "What's wrong?" So Anzi, you know, there's a little boy who. Many, many years ago, about 25 years ago, when this boy was born, we realized that he had seven stars on his head. So my friend and I went and we took the stars. We shared. I took four. My friend took three. Huh? And, and now, today, when I was coming to church, I saw this boy under, under the bridge, mad. It's a confession here. So they can take your star 
Sometimes in deliverance you hear ah uyu takatorenyenyedzi yakati pasi pechi pemvura. This is the deep 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 subject which you can go for 30 years in church and not hear this kind of subject here. You need to value this subject because the Lord is about to do something in your life. I said the Lord is about to do something in your life. I'm, I'm telling you 99.9999% of you, your glory has been taken away. When your glory is taken away, your true life, your true life, your true life is taken away. Am I talking to somebody here? Uh, listen to me. This thing of your glory, it must return. You, you must fight for your glory. Fight for your glory. You know, you, know, you know why I'm sharing this message, Pastor Albert? The Lord reminded me of this scripture. Moses said to the Lord before he went to see Pharaoh, Lord, show me your glory. And you know what the Lord said to him? I will show you my goodness. So when the glory of the Lord is upon you, good things happen to you. The devil does not hate me because I cast out devils, because you can get that done down the street. It's this kind of teaching. <laughs> this kind of opening your eyes. Fight for your glory from today. Fight for the recovery of your glory. Tonight, you are up midnight. I want my glory. Ah, yeah, but they will be surprised in the kingdom of darkness because you've never prayed for this one. They, they'll, they'll be surprised. I, are you understanding me? They'll, they'll, be, they'll, they'll, they'll be seriously surprised. Seriously, very seriously surprised. Because your lost glory it must come back. It must come back. What causes the boy to abuse you is lost glory. He can no longer see the God in you. Are you understanding what I'm talking about? Praise the name of the Lord. I see your glory returning. When your glory comes, favor comes back to your life. Look at this. Go back to Psalm 84. There's something I skipped there, but it's more relevant now. And he show me your what? And the Lord answered and said, I'll show you my, my goodness. I, 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 this is, you find this in um, um, Exodus 33, verse 18 to 23, for the sake of time, just go and study it. Psalm, Psalm 84, are you back in Psalm 84? If your glory was not lost, you would not have been fired. When you were employed, they could say, ha, hey, it's, an, it's awesome to have you in this place. And you know, you didn't even know as, ma as many things as you knew when they fired you. time they fired you with more knowledge they wanted you out of that place <laughs> come on think about it D did it not make sense to fire me when i knew nothing so it's not knowledge that makes you to rise it is glory what made them hire you when you knew nothing is glory come on talk to me somebody what makes them to hire you when you know nothing? When you're still innocent? When you're void of information? It's glory. Hallelujah, somebody. Can somebody say glory? I'm Psalm 84. Read the scripture again, Pastor. Read the scripture again. And For the Lord God is a sun and shield. Uh -huh. The Lord will give grace and glory. Now, 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 now look at me. And the Lord is sun and what? He's talking about giving glory. So he's saying his son is the source of glory. Huh? But then he says shield. Why is he talking about shield? To protect that glory he's going to talk about. Oh, what a revelation. Glory is so valuable that God, he wants to protect it. To shield it from glory stealers. There are glory stealers in the realm of the spirit. I'm telling you, even if you don't believe it, they are there. They are there. Vanoba glory. Uh, we've stumbled onto something very, very powerful and life-changing here. There's a lady. She was the brightest person in their in their class. Huh? 
Angaruk University. So you can see, so, Abayana Kunde, the man of God, ah, just asking, you know, man of God, teach me this, teach me that. And then, in a dream now, a witch appeared in the dream. So you can see, why, why are you going to this man of God to learn these things? We're going to punish you in the kingdom of darkness. You know we sent you on assignment to recruit people in that university. Now you are, not, you are going outside of assignment. We're going to take your glory. Runzwa. Huh? She was the brightest in a what? In a class. They wrote seven papers at the end of the term. Because the man of, she came and told the man of God to come say, hey, you, you better fight. Eh? Because this glory that they've taken from you it's a serious thing. It's, going to, ah, it's just a bad dream. At the end of, at the, end of the term, whatever, whatever they call it, semester, Vakanyora, seven papers. And she's the only one of those seven papers I was absent, 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 seven times. Glory to Allah. This thing is a serious issue. I'm telling you, I, I remember my, my daughter Tanaka, she woke up in the middle of the night panicking after she wrote her exams before my results are You know that time eh, she woke up panicking. She has the daddy. She has the rotam I change my change my A you. Huh? Auntie A Capital to the end of you. And answer I should go to the end of my A I should my you. You don't believe? There are subjects you know you passed. But the result came back and failed. Come on, talk to me. Not everything that is happening in your life is the way it should have been. No, no, no. Pane, at some point, there was a change, there was a turn. You just started to have bad luck from nowhere. You know your food that you cook for your customers can start tasting bad. He said, but no, I didn't know what I know. I didn't know what I know. If I'm going to contract, even yoga, you know it's nonsense, but they have the contract over you. Why? Glory stolen. <laughs> I'm touching some things here. Stolen glory can keep you in the same position, Papa for years and years in the name of experience. Say, Lord, I want my glory back. When your glory is stolen, you miss opportunities. I believe your star shining helps you to see where you're going. I remember because I grew up in the mines with my father. He was in the mine for a long time. So we moved from mine to mine. One thing that I'm remembering now, the Lord is just reminding me that you know, you know those miners when they went underground, they would have a torch here. Yeah. Huh? And the torch would help them to see. This way. That star of yours will help you to see clearly. Yeah. And it is returning unto you in the name of Jesus. I promise you, I said your star is returning unto you in the name of Jesus. I decree your star is returning to you today in the name of Jesus. When I was, when I was meditating this in the morning, early in the morning, 3 a.m., 2 a.m., he said to me, the glory can disappear. It says it can pass away before time. Refuse for your glory to pass away before time. People will see you differently. Some boy will just snatch you and marry you. Hey, with this sermon, I'm telling you the truth. Because your glory is coming back in the name of Jesus. I said your glory is coming back in the name of Jesus. Part of the enemy uh, messing with your glory is if you, if, you, if you have a dream and your hair is being cut. Because your hair is your glory. If, if you wake up and you have missed some of your hair, you know you did not sleep with the scissors in your hand. But you wake up with a bold patch on your head. This thing is serious. You find immediately after that, you start having marital problems. You start having business problems. Say, my lost glory 
It must be retained in the name of Jesus. Are you still in Psalm 84? There's something I want to show you there. So the Lord shields glory. This way, right? But I must ask him to shield the glory. This way, right? Carry on. What does it say after that? No good thing will he withhold from those who walk upright. No what? No what? So it's in the same breath. So lost glory, because he says he will give you glory. This way, right? After he gives you glory, no good thing can be withheld from you. So glory has to do with good things being given to you. By this message, may good things be returned unto you in the name of Jesus. May things be put in your hand by this message in the name of Jesus. I said may things be put in your hand in the name of Jesus. May contracts come your way in the name of Jesus. I said may contracts come your way in the name of Jesus. Your lost glory must be returned. I, I, I need a proper amen on this one. I said your lost glory must be returned. I'm speaking into the realm of the atmosphere. Your lost glory must be returned in the name of Jesus. Your lost beauty must be returned in the name of Jesus. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, glory return unto me. I decree your hair that is being manipulated by witchcraft powers on satanic altars. That witchcraft manipulation of your hair, which is a manipulation of your glory. I command that manipulation to catch fire right now. I said I command it to catch fire right now. I said it must catch fire right now. I decree it must catch fire right now. In the name of Jesus, your star that is no longer shining. I command it to shine again in the name of Jesus. Let your star so shine that men will see your good works. Ah, there will be a change from today. They will see how good your project is. They will see how good your business idea is. They will see how good your product is. Your lost glory must return. Any veil over your beauty must be removed in the name of Jesus. I said any veil over your beauty must be removed in the name of Jesus. Any veil mandimo sente lebe bebendi maka talabahaya yababa baka telebe kese tele bokori yanda labahaya angel swing into action malite le bokori la tababa kande mese tele bokori yanda labahaya the glory of the Lord malende be kese tele boko that was stolen from you must be returned. I said it must be returned. It must be returned. It must be returned. It must be returned in the name of Jesus. I said it must be returned in the name of Jesus. I command the glory of this church that was stolen by the enemy, by, by false prophets, that, that glory must be returned in the name of Jesus. No longer would they use our sermons in the name of Jesus. No longer would they use our virtue. No longer would they use our glory. Every glory stealer of any of the children of God under the sound of my voice, that glory stealer, return that stolen glory. The Bible says when a thief is caught, he must repay how many times? Seven times. So for every one star they stole, receive seven stars in the name of Jesus. I prophesy it upon your life in the name of Jesus. In Hollywood, they, they call them stars. And this one is a star. Alec Baldwin is a star. Michael Jackson was a star. Why are you not a star? Because your star was stolen. May your star return unto you in the name of Jesus. That business proposal, the glory was covered with a veil of darkness. That's why it's not taking off. I've just given you a divine soul. I'm telling you the truth. But in the name of Jesus, from this moment, I said 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 from today, that veil, I destroy it by fire, by force, by fire, by force, by fire, by force, by fire, by force. It is destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
la sata la baka de lebe kende lebo kondi bahaya lita baba baka de lebe if i was the devil i'd make sure you're not here today ha. ah but you are here <laughs> you are here your glory must start returning from today i said from today may god show you a sign that your glory is returning from today in the name of jesus phone calls you never used to receive ata baba baka de lebo kondi bahaya la taba baba baba rianda la baka la bahaya le de de beke de beke ti bakata la bahaya bandende beke de boko soto lo boko how can a young man who can translate more than five languages have no work the devil is a liar the devil is a liar the devil is a liar your glory must return your glory must return your glory your glory must return your glory must return your glory must return manda masa tala bahaya lete bebe keri bakata la bahaya why are you still single until now your glory must return in the name of jesus la masha na la bahaya we know that the grass withers and the flower fades but your word is eternal Unlocking your destiny